In this video, we're going to do an example for solving a limit. So we have to solve the limit as x approaches 2 of the function x squared minus 4 all over x minus 2. And if you remember from our limit overview video, to prove that a limit exists and equals a certain value, we have to prove that it approaches that same value from both the left side and the right side. Now if you notice, at an x value of 2, this function is undefined because if we plug in 2 for this function, we would get a denominator of 0. However, just because a function is undefined at a certain x value, it doesn't necessarily mean that the limit doesn't exist at that x value. Because if you remember in the overview video, we said that the limit is what y value the function approaches as x approaches that value. So if the y value is approaching a certain number from both the left side and the right side, then we know that that limit exists and it equals that value. So we'll make a little conclusion addressing that issue about a function being undefined and a limit potentially existing, but just know that for now, just because at that x value 2 the function is undefined, we can't conclude that the limit doesn't exist. So I'm going to show you how to solve this limit in a couple of ways. And the first way is I'm going to use a table of values. And as we mentioned in the overview video, we have to first find out what's the limit of this function as we approach 2 from the negative side or from the left side. And if we're approaching 2 from the left side, we can make a table of values with x values that are very close to 2 from the left side. So numbers like 1.9, 1.99, 1.999. We're just getting closer and closer to 2 from that negative side. And if we take those x values and then plug them into the function that we're given, x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 for the x values, we would get these corresponding y values of 3.9, 3.99, 3.999. 3 so we can be pretty confident that as x approaches 2 from the left side, this function, the y values, are going to approach a value of 4. And then similarly, we have to find the limit as x approaches 2 from the right side. So we put this positive there because it's approaching from the positive side. So similarly, we make a table of values, but now the x values are approaching from that right side, from the positive side. So the x values we would use is 2.1, 2.01, and 2.001. Just getting closer and closer to 2 from the right side. And when we plug those x values into the function x squared minus 4 over x minus 2, the corresponding y values we get is 4.1, 4.01, 4.001. So we can be pretty confident that the limit of this function as x approaches 2 from the positive side is also equal to 4. So because the limit is approaching 4 from the left side and it's approaching 4 from the right side, we can say that the general limit as x approaches 2 of this function is also equal to 4 because we proved the conditions that we went over in the overview video. If it's approaching the same value from both sides, then that general limit exists as x approaches 2 and it also equals 4. Now, as I mentioned at the beginning, we couldn't just plug in 2 into this function and see what value this function takes at that point because at an x value of 2, this function is undefined. Hence why we had to approach 2 from both the left side and the right side and see what y values that function is approaching. Now, a second way that you can solve this limit is through graphing. So this is a rational function. So if you remember, the first thing you want to do with rational functions is make sure everything is factored. And notice how we can factor the numerator into x plus 2, x minus 2. It's just a difference of squares. And then notice how the x minus 2s will cancel out. And we're just left with x plus 2. But because those x minus 2s cancel out, we know that there's a hole at x equals 2. So if we take that and graph it, we would graph this line x plus 2, but at an x value of 2, there's a hole. And the y value at that hole, well, we would just plug in 2 into this remaining expression. So 2 plus 2 is 4. So this graph here, this line with this hole, is what this function x squared minus 4 over x minus 2 looks like. And then looking at this graph, we can solve the one-sided limits because since we're finding the limit as x approaches 2, 
we have to find the limit as x approaches 2 from the negative side and from the positive side. So for this limit here, this one-sided limit, the left side limit, as we approach 2, an x value of 2 from the left side, what does the y value approach of this line here? Well, it approaches 4. And if we approach 2 for this function from the right side, the y value that this line approaches is also 4. So then in conclusion, because it's approaching the same y value from both the left side and the right side, we can say that that general limit as x approaches 2 of the function is also equal to 4. So we can make a little conclusion from this scenario here. A general conclusion we can make is a function can be undefined at an x value of a, but the limit as x approaches a of that function can still exist. So for example here, at an x value of 2, the function is undefined, but the limit exists as we proved in two different ways. And the reason why it can exist is because it's all about what y value f of x approaches, not what y value it actually is. It's all about what y value it approaches. So the keyword there is approach. Notice here, at an, again, at an x value of 2, the function is undefined, but as we move closer to that x value of 2 from the left side and the right side, we can tell that the y values are approaching 4. If we look at the graph, when we move from the left side and the right side to an x value of 2, the y values are approaching 4. So that's why the limit exists in both scenarios. So it's all about what y value f of x approaches. It can be undefined at a certain point, but if at that point the y values are approaching a certain value, then that's what the limit of the function will be. Yo, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out my channel. Hopefully you got some value from the video you just watched. If you did get some value, big favor to ask you, please like this video and subscribe to the channel. Any questions, any recommendations on things you'd like to see, please leave it in the comments section. Also check out the description box below for links to material and content related to the video you just watched. Peace out.